Hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to Kia's vlog. Hope you guys are having an awesome Wednesday. I sure am. Well, at least the start of it, anyway. Um, so as you guys can tell, this is about the Grace Ace Attorney 2. Yes, I finally finished it two days ago. Um, now I'm playing Samurai Wars 5. Um, <laughs> finally get to do it. No. It's been untouched for, like, the past few months. Because the last time I played Samurai Wars 5 was, um, the demo. And then a few, like... Weeks after that, all I did for that game really was to download the free costumes, the two free costumes for that game. So I was like, hmm. <laughs> well, because I was really into Ace Attorney 2, the great, the great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Oh, so, you know, I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I finished that two, two days ago. I'm just going to talk about like certain points in it. Spoilers too. So, you know, because... If I can talk about every single chapter, uh, this would be like an hour and a half long video. No joke. It's it's insane. But you know, to shorten to to condense it, I'm gonna just talk about the like the uh, a cer certain points of the game. I mean, I might refer back to like I might be jumping all over the place. I don't know. So anyway, spoiler warning for the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles Two. I think I said that title right. Whatever. But, you know. <clears throat> um, spoilers. If you guys don't want spoilers, then I suggest uh, watching something else. But if you guys don't mind spoilers, then hey. Whatever you guys feel like, you're welcome to watch this. <laughs> um, so, hey. Without further ado, here we go. So, Ace Attorney. The Great Ace Attorney 2 takes place a year after the first game because you know um Suzato already is back in Japan for the first episode and she defends she becomes a lawyer for a day I'm not sure how that happened but <laughs> so apparently she had to disguise herself as a boy because females are not allowed to defend in court more so step into a court unless they're the uh witness because you know the one that she's defending is her best friend ray who got accused of murdering uh giselle brett and if that name doesn't seems familiar and rings a bell it's because she giselle brett is the one who killed john t wilson in the first episode of the other game the first one the great ace attorney chronicles <laughs> first episode she killed somebody and the first episode of this <laughs> she dies Anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, I was like, oh, I never get to see her actual costume because I have put on the alternate costume on her. So she's in Iris's like costume, man, homemade costume. I forgot what it's called. But yeah, so I mean, the only time I ever get to see that the disguise portion is during when she checks out evidence or very b briefly through the cross-examination where they show like the eye eye portion of it you know um, but anyway so yeah <clears throat> that was cool <laughs> get to play susato for a day she has the same nervous tics as um, naruhodo and also when she gets thrown off guard when naruhodo slams his back in the wall then it, ugh, she does that too it's funny <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, there's also, oh, Kazuma comes back. I know, jumping from Suzato to Kazuma. Yeah, I did not know that. I'm like, oh my gosh. He comes back. Apparently, he lost his memories after the second episode and the other game. Uh, so then he was acting as a protege to Barak Van Zeeks, who's the prosecutor. I don't know. He was this little apprentice, not proto. Well, I guess protege, same thing, but apprentice. I'll just say apprentice. Um, until like one of the cases where they unmask the wax figure of the professor, and then all of a sudden, all the memories come flooding back into Cosma. So yeah, I was like, ooh, and Cosma becomes a prosecutor, 
and not the defense attorney. I mean, you know. He becomes prosecutor for the prosecuting case of Barack Van Zeeks because uh, Van Zeeks gets uh, accused of murdering Tobias Gregson. Yes, that poor inspector who loves fish and chips dies. I'm like, no. <laughs> like, why? Because I liked him. He's funny. <laughs> and I always wonder how those fish and chips miraculously like come back after because you know you see him bite and then his animation like he squeezes and then it, he gets like a whole new fish and chip i'm like what the fish part just like regenerates itself it's like that's cool a never ending fish and chips hmm. yum makes me want fish and chips right now hmm. i don't have any fish though <laughs> nor chips part the potato part um but <clears throat> anywho so yeah poor tobias gregson gets killed um we'll learn secrets like the professor is actually a S Kazuma's dad I can't remember his first name but anyway Kazuma's dad was professor but turned out Kazuma's dad wasn't the professor he was just standing in as the professor because apparently Kazuma's dad and uh, Van Zeke's brother Clint has some kind of negotiation going on because I think that um, Cosmo's dad found out it was Clint who was the professor. Yes, Barack Van Zeke's has a murderer in his family. Oh uh, well, who's now dead because um, Cosmo's dad killed. Oh boy, killed Clint. I know it's like a what, but. Um, yeah, and, um, where was going with this? Oh, yeah, so, killed Clint. Obviously, I think he got tried for that, but then they also, he also kept quiet about not being the professor, and he got executed, at least falsely executed, because then there was supposed to, there was a plan after that that he was supposed to come out and get saved by, um, the judge of the Japan Japanese court uh shoot Sashiro Chikoku? I think that was his name. Name of the judge for that one. <clears throat> and um male strongheart. Yes. Because well, okay, the judge got wait, was it the judge? I'm pretty sure Judge Chikoku got coerced into like helping him. Or was that Tobias? No, it was a judge. I can't remember. It was like, happened so fast, I'm like, what? Anywho, but um, there's a scene where he comes out from the graveyard because he's not actually dead. He didn't get executed. But then the plan failed because someone else, the engineer by Dauber, and I can't remember his first name. I'm going to call him Dauber. Um, at the time, he was a grave robber. So, at the, so he witnessed... The professor coming out alive. <clears throat> and then he gets shot. Not by him. It was by the judge. Jikoku. No, yeah, it was the judge. The Jap judge from the J Japanese court. Because the judge, Cosmo's dad, and Susato's father, they were all like best friends, you know. All the three friends going to London. Um, Cosmo's dad gets into the whole professor debacle. And Male Strongheart is like the guy behind the Reaper of the Bailey, who's doing out like sending people out to do his dirty deeds so he doesn't get his hands dirty. Um, but yeah, he coerced, he kind of like forced Judge to do go along with his plans. Just sad. But anyway, so the plan failed because obviously they weren't expecting someone to witness the professor popping out of his grave and coming back alive um but yeah i was like oh that's so sad um <clears throat> oh learned that clint van zeeks had a daughter and that daughter is iris but see she doesn't know that her daddy is the actual professor because for a long time she's been living with her lock shoms so at towards the end she still doesn't know who and I'm pretty sure along the line, 
like Herlock will probably say, but not now. Obviously not now, which is nice. But she sees um, Herlock Holmes as her dad, so she calls, you know, <clears throat> besides Hurley, she finally, she called him daddy. I'm like, oh, I mean, you know, she's been taken care of by Herlock Holmes for the past uh, 10 years of her life. So it makes sense to formally ado be adopted. Well, I mean, okay, it, it wasn't like final, like she got adopted by Herlock. It's kind of like implied because, you know, she lived with him. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool that you know that now um, Van Zeeks has a niece. So, you know, he got shocked into that. I'm like, oh, that's cute. He has a niece. Oh. Uh, Suzato comes back, you know, in London and all this whole debacle. Professor case blew up. Jesus. Male Strongheart was the whole mastermind through everything. So he tried to use his high power up to and the closed court yes this is like a closed court so the whole public there was no jury he was the judge jury and executioner that's ironic but anyway um yeah and then they had a happy ending i was like hmm i'm pretty sure there's other things that i'm missing right now that my mind is like blinking out but some of the cool parts in that game i thought was the wax figure the wax museum i should say it was Madame Tispels instead of Madame Tussard. Toussaint? Tussoy? Toussaint? Toussaint? I don't know. <laughs> Madame Toussaint. <laughs> um, which, you know, I actually been to Madame Toussaint's wax beauty museum, but I just thought it was a neat little, you know, cameo in there. Obviously, it was a play on words and they changed it a little, but it was, that museum in game was all about the famous murderers, and of course, the professor would be one. Um, but yeah, it had a nice ending. It was like lots of twists and turns in that game. But to sum, sum it all up, because I know I spewed out a lot of information, Cosmo's alive. Judge, uh, not the judge, uh, Male Strongheart is the one who's behind everything. The Reaper, the one who kind of like, well, at least the Reaper for the killings after all the they get acquitted. Uh, Cosmo becomes a prosecutor. Oh, uh, Male Strongheart has a animation when he claps really fast. Reminds me of Damon Gant. For those who don't know, Damon Gant was like the big baddie in, I think it was for the first game, but like the fifth or sixth episode, or was it the second one? I can't remember, but it was one of the cases with Emma Sky and Lana Sky. But his like, you know, clap animation was going fast too. So I just kind of picture Male Strongheart and Damon Gant. I, I picture Damon Gant when he did that. I'm like, oh gosh, there we go. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but both of them are ironically, I think, the high, the chief prosecutor. You know, with their fancy office. <clears throat> Although Male Strongheart's office is pretty fancy. Anywho, so you know, there's that. Um, Iris is Male uh Van Zeeks, not male strong heart. Sorry, wrong guy. <laughs> um, is uh, Van Zeeks' niece, which is kind of cool. Um, Kazuma's dad is the professor. I mean, you know, not the true professor. I think the one that blew my mind was uh, Clint Van Zeeks was being the professor. I'm like, what? <clears throat> and what's even more chilling is that the collar that they found from like the, I think the fifth episode of the fir uh, first game, it's had the, you know, it was a dog collar that had the bee. And apparently it was like for Baskerville. Yes, the hounds of Baskerville. So apparently Clint's, Clint's wife is, last name is Baskerville. Like the family, her family side is Baskerville, which makes total sense. I'm like, oh my God mind blown and because <clears throat> apparently in the murderings you know when he's on a murder spree um clint was using his dog to kill people you know you grab him like i don't want to get too gory but you know go through the go for their throats just you know it's a sad thing so poor doggo was used as a uh, murder weapon 
<clears throat> but yeah, I'm like, oh boy, oh boy. And then, um, I think it was, oh, it was Kazuma's dad told uh, Susato's father to go help this woman out this uh, in this house, like whatever address he gave gave him. And it happened to be uh, Iris's mother and she was giving birth, but she didn't survive birth. Uh, <clears throat> and then he couldn't take the baby back with him because he didn't want to reveal who, you know, the mother and father was. So that's how he gave the baby to um, Herlock Sholmes, so that way she, he, she can have a nice life, you know. And that's what led to Iris. I'm like, whoa! So that means Iris is part of the High Noble family rank, but she doesn't know that. I'm pretty sure she will in the future, you know, just wait, in the future. But anyway, so yeah. And I'm like, okay. Whoo! So Iris is actually part of the Von Zeke's family. How cool is that? So anyway, um, I know that was a lot to spew out, because like I said, I wasn't just gonna hit mainly the plot points that I thought found interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, next video, I don't know what I'll be talking about, but you know. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, your week, weekend. Labor Day too. Hope you guys stay safe on Labor Day. Um, three day weekend for some people. Woo woo. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.